Hey, what's happening, guys and gals? Welcome back to Sonic Boom Fire and Ice. Yay! Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It's submarine time. Or is it? I or decided. is it? I'm not lost. I just am bad with directions. Which is true. Which is like being lost all the time. Mm. You never are lost. You just don't know where you are at the moment. True. You're always somewhere, though. Tar Pit sounds good. Tar Pit's my favorite place. All right, so we are in dinosaur land, more or less. Ooh, the Tar Pit land. Tar Pit dinosaurs. I always used to feel bad when they talked about uh, Wooly Mammoths getting stuck in the Tar Pit. I was like, no, baby Wooly Mammoths getting stuck in the Tar Pits is sad. Sadness. No. Oops, need to be on fire here. I would love a little baby Wooly Mammoth as a pet. But it wouldn't be little, it'd be big. I got the need for swinging on that thing. Boom, baby. It's right. I've got a fever, and the only prescription is more Sonic! Oh yes, we are going to be playing with more Sonic, because I just don't like using the other characters as much. Because it's a Sonic Boom game. I understand that they're in the show, but... They're there, but... Okay, so... Sonic is the main, main man. The main hedgehog. Main hog, yes. Ooh. Whoa, that was close. Pretty fly for a Sonic guy. Totally. Okay, so then we just repeat this puzzle again. There we go. Boo to the ya. And one of my favorite things about this game, though, are the cutscenes. Uh, it's pretty fun to watch. Yeah, well, I mean, I like that it has a story, and I mean, in terms of other Sonic Boom games, this game isn't terrible. It's like, there's some really bad Sonic Boom games. This game is fun, and I would say it's okay, I mean... It's fun entertaining. I would definitely get this game, like, once it hits the bargain bin. When this, like, hits around, like, 20 bucks, I think that more than justifies owning it. Especially if Nintendo does, like, a sale on the eShop or something like that, because, I mean, the gameplay's solid. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, it's a little slower for a Sonic game, but... That's because of all the different stuff, the switching between fire and ice, using the other characters to solve the different, you know, little ability puzzles and things yep. like that, using Sticks Boomerang or Amy's Hammer, stuff like that. Tails yep. Laser. Laser! He's digging. Whoops. My bad. Come on! Come on, Sonic, you can do it! Ooh, yeah. I always mainly play with Sonic on a Sonic game anyway. Like, even when I used to be able to, you know, put Knuckles in the game on the old Sonic games, I would play with him maybe one-fifth of the time or one-eighth of the time. I mean, I would mainly play with Sonic because it's Sonic. I mean, it's his game. It's Sonic, yeah. I mean, plus, I don't know why, but I think one of my favorite, I don't know, I think I already said this, but my favorite color is blue, and I just, I love having a blue character. It seems really cool. You have a Sonic plushie somewhere. I... Yeah, I need, oh. I need some more Sonic plushies. I never have enough Sonic plushies. <laughs> it's really hard for me to find a good one, though. They never really do him justice. Like, somebody like Kirby, they it's really easy because he's big and round. Well, but I don't Sonic, think... he has all these arms and legs, and it's really hard to make him look good. The big plushie that you have upstairs, I don't think it's based on Sonic Boom because he's not thin and lanky. Yeah, like and based after kind of Dreamcast or maybe Sonic Color Sonic. His, I think the one I have, his face is kind of tan. Or maybe I'm thinking of another one. No, but... you're thinking about the big one. That's oh, like okay, all right, yeah. Right, this is a Tails puzzle. Okay, so let's see. But yeah, it is really hard to get all his Boom. spiky things Boom. right. I would be cute to have a little plushie of Tails with his little goggles, though. That's adorable. I think it's your Tails plushie. With the goggles on it? The uh, Sonic Boom one? The Sonic, well, they probably have one for Sonic Boom, actually. Yeah, we haven't been to Toys R Us for quite a long time. Six months, maybe? I think, yeah, and it's so close to us, too. I think that was one of the things when we first came here. There were all these things around us, and we thought, oh my gosh, we're going to go here all the time. And then since we've been here for quite a while, it's like we haven't really gone out as much. It's like it's there. It just feels nice having it there, but we never go. The Pennsylvania air is like fighting Mike Tyson for me, mm -hmm. so... Yeah. Okay. That's the easiest way to explain it. I'll murderize ya! Because, you know, Mike Tyson has like a, a high girly voice, so... Yeah. 
I'm the champ! Fear me! And done. Yeah! That wasn't bad. Keeping track of how long it took me to do that. Eh. Alright, so I'm not very speedy, but I'm still pretty cool. And that volcano is now, or Fisher, is down for the count. More or less. Down for the count. Sprint move to move quickly. Huh, wonder what that is. Huh. Remember to visit Tails at the bot racer. Bot racing? Eh, I'm gonna do submarine diving. Would that be like pod racing? Maybe. I mean, it looks like Tails inside a submarine, although he just threw like this mini sub with Tails on the back of it, so I don't even think Tails is in that. I think those are like robot Tails. I didn't even notice you had Amy there. Aha! Uh -huh. How I eat? Yeah, I was waiting for you to notice. I figured we had Sonic before, and, and then uh, we're gonna throw some other I forgot if we had Tails there. I thought we did. We Maybe might have. I can't remember. I'm always but trying Amy something, looks cute. something new for you to see. Switching it up. Switching it up, yeah. The Switching Knuckles one up. and Sticks one didn't really come out very well, so. Yeah, and I, I mean, couldn't stand Sonic staring at me anymore. It's just creepy. Amy has, like, kind of a pleasant staring, so. Yeah, she's pretty cute. I mean, she could be worse. I don't really know too much. I mean, I didn't really watch too much of the show, so I don't really think Amy's mean. I think, like, Sonic just, it's not... Oh, well, she's not mean. She's just a clingy hedgehog girl. Oh. Yeah. I don't mind clingy, though. That's kind of cute. Mm. It all depends on how clingy. Super clingy. Clinging to the point of terrifying. That well, was Amy. I guess she's, uh, she knows who her man is that she wants, and she's going to go after him. Tails? Like a shark. No, she wants Sonic. Going after a man like a shark? That doesn't sound very pleasant. Uh-oh. Speaking of not very pleasant, we're running out of air. End time. Go, little submarine. Swim with all your might. Oh, no. No. Oh. No. Oh, that's right. It's a trial and error thing. Well, Amy and I both know that uh, if you let a guy go for even a second, he'll... He'll slip through your fingers, so you have to keep going after him. Mm. Pretend he's like your prey and, you know. That's kind of creepy. Him asking you out on a date is like blood in the water. Fire! <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna go down this way first. Amy knows what I'm talking about. She's yeah. like, oh yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Everybody remembered where we were. That must be comforting to Luke to know that... <sighs> That I went after him like that. I guess I kind yeah. of did. Okay. All right. We found the first one. Now we can make the treacherous journey over this way and go all the way down. But the question remains, are we going to get enough time to do it? I think the game's just going to give us just enough. I hope you keep getting those it. little clock thingies. Man, this really reminds me of that one submarine 3DS game. Yeah. I can't Steel remember what it's called. Diver. Yeah. Seal Diver. Seal Diver was wasn't it was, bad. Uh, 3DS was first coming out, I think. Yep. It was one of the early 3DS games. And now we're going to be saying farewell to the 3DS because... Actually, we're going to be saying farewell to Nintendo console and uh, portable devices being separate entities now. No. Ooh, this is going to be close. If the Nintendo NX rumor is true with the system being a console like portable hybrid I mean that's gonna change gaming big time oh yeah, yeah it makes I'm... me a little sad because I've always had a portable gaming device from Nintendo or their latest console in my living room and well, you know when I go on vacations and stuff you can the portable probably device. still do portable hopefully they'll still make the 3DS you don't think they will well they've already stopped production of the Wii U so I don't know 3DS is pretty popular I mean if I was making a portable device, I would have something like a U-pad that charges, but then you can basically take it with you. That was kind of a big U-pad, though. I can't see, you know, somebody busting that thing out no, on the subway or no. something like so that. No, no. So you make it smaller, and then you have, when you plug it in, it could charge and put the thing on this 
TV. Mm-hmm. And then when you uncharge it, then you can take it instead of plugging it into the wall like a battery while you're playing it, you could charge it. And then when you take it with you in the car, then you could just play it like a three. Um, who knows? Maybe it would be a 3DS that you plug into the, I don't know, into the system. I have no idea. Nintendo, hire this lady. <laughs> Well, I mean, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Why not? Yeah, totally. It's kind of a good idea. Yeah, I mean, like, that's what I would do. I'd just make it seamless. I wouldn't make a system that you would not... You would not detract from the awesomeness of the 3DS or detract from the console. You would make them better together. Kind of like... Kind of like how the K-Wings go together. <laughs> so it's... Like See, he, I like that. How he like freezes the water and then surfs on top of it. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Oh, pretty cool. Yeah, like our fans say that we go together like peanut butter and jelly. So you can't have one without the other. I haven't had PB&J in a long time. Me neither. Might be down for that. I think, I mean, it's actually a pretty nutritious and inexpensive and yummy sandwich. Well, I haven't developed any peanut allergies as far as I know, so... Peanut butter cookies are still my favorite. You, if you develop one more allergy, K Wing, I don't even. I'm. I know. Tell me about it. I'm gonna be so mad at you. The I'm list gonna... of grievances for Amber keep on rising. Uh. Oh. All right, I, I deserve that one. See, that's, look. that's for saying. That's for even mentioning that you could have a peanut allergy. No. All right, it's digging time. Do do do! Oh! Giant knuckles, bodybuilder knuckles. Buff knuckles! <laughs> yeah. Look at him and his biceps. He's so big. <laughs> he likes his whey protein shakes. Yeah. Yeah. I think he, has, he... he has girly little legs. His girly Sonic legs. Ah. Okay, so. I know. I guess can't you can't. That. You can't help rebuild muscle. Hmm. Eh, we'll just go this way. Aha, there we go. But you didn't see that coming. I think he eats protein shakes and a bunch of, like, algae shakes, too. That's what, like, Knuckles? Yep, totally. Really? I don't know. That plant plant stuff that you're supposed to eat. Ugh. It's really good for you. I keep trying Wait to get you second. to eat it, but... Never! Gaming won't. Nope. Ooh. That was really close. I'm going to feed you health food in your sleep, K-Wing, and then you won't have any more allergies. You're going to have to do it through an IV. I will. That's oh. my goal. I'm going to end up being a doctor just to make you healthy. And then after eight years of, of medical school, I'm finally going to know how to get rid of all your like problems. And then I'm going to fix it for you. And then I'm going to be like, ah. Now I did that. Now on with the rest of the things I wanted to do in my life. <laughs> Become president. I, exactly. And then I'll be like, I'll run on the platform. You know, I don't know. Can we do it? Yes, we can. I'll be Bob the Builder. There you go. Oh, I was going to say, if a community organizer can become president, why not a doctor? Or, you know, a salesperson? Actually, that's how people used to run, like just regular people. And then you would actually say your real thoughts instead of having somebody else write your speech for you. Mm-hmm. Booyah. Okay, so I think we're almost done with this level. I'm not sure, though. Whoa. Okay, that was a mistake. Uh... Oh, Okay. That's a um, that's a sticks puzzle. So we got to switch to sticks, throw our remote control batarang down there, and then that'll yep. open the passageway for us. How it doesn't hit the spikes, I won't know, but it works. And presto, change o re We out. Yeah, somebody told me that sticks is a badger, but I'm still not sure what she is. I think she is a badger, but I'm not sure. It looks like a badger to me. I know that uh, what's her face is. Um, a hedgehog, Amy. But I thought badgers were really big. Ooh. And kind of like grumpy. If people are wondering where the uh, bonus level is, it was right past there, but uh, I'm on kind of like a time constraint, so I just want to finish this level. 3DS has been acting a little buggy lately, so. Yep. Oh, really? 
Everything's, gotta switch the fire. Everything's been acting buggy lately. Totally. Ice! Good job! I love the ice. Ice to meet you! There's some coinage right there behind the uh, frigidy uh, zone. And there's the fisher. Boo to the ya! Oh yeah. Amy's still staring. Fisher closed. Check the bot racer workshop. What is the bot racer workshop? I haven't checked any of the places yet, I don't think. I just want to progress the story and do the submarine levels. All right, we out. This level's done. Yay, you did it. Should just be this level. So these are kind of like little bonus levels with tails. You get these weird little, I don't know, they're, they're, they're kind of, they look like puzzle pieces or something. Now, in order to make uh, tails go faster, I was doing this wrong before. You have to hold on the R button and then it makes, you know, the character move much quicker. Oh, okay. And then you don't have to worry about like your time dropping because your health bar right there by the clock that is also the time limit that drops, oh. as well as the strength of your, you know, jet ski thing. Wow, okay, that's interesting. But you can see that we're halfway done with this already, so... Don't hit the icebergs! You can hit the icebergs as long as you collect the purple stuff. See? Oh, okay. So you don't even have to worry about hitting the stuff, unless you're going for, like, a really good score, but... Yeah. These glacier things... But to get through it, yeah, you don't they have don't, to hit it. They don't break, like cleanly. That would have been cool if the Titanic had some purple stuff to help it get through the thing. That Titanic is... should have had a flamethrower on it. I know, that would have been so useful. Talk about an icebreaker. Oh. Too soon? Too soon? It's fine. Nobody from the Titanic is really around anymore. If you are, I'm sorry, that joke was a little bit chilling. <sighs> oh, I did it again, didn't I? Sorry, brain freeze. Whoa. Yeah, that reminds me of that insurance guy today who was so mean, though. And that wasn't even a joke. Mmm. Yeah. Insurance people. Yeah, that thing about our cat. Was <sighs> sad. Luke was on the phone with some insurance people, and oh my gosh. Something about, like, Luke mentioned something about. Oh, never mind. You know what? It's. It's too sad. It's too sad, actually. I can't talk about Maybe it. Maybe on a live stream. I'll talk about it some other time. It's time to be pirates in Cutthroat Island. Because there's pirates. Don't forget about the sea fox and hovercraft. <laughs> it's like I was going to say it, and then I then I thought in my mind, okay, no. That's right. we got a cutscene to make all that stuff go away. What, what? science at all there's a lot of radiation from that new element in there what face mom when he kidnapped sonic that stuff can be dangerous in the wrong hands and there's some more radium radiation and it's running away which is weird follow the weirdness because of science giant knuckles cutthroat swamp i really need to know what knuckles is He's red and buff. There you go. I need to know what kind of animal he is. In the comment section below, tell Amber what type of animal Knuckles is. I need to know. And I also don't know what Amy is. Hedgehog. Okay. But she doesn't look like one. But She's okay. a special hedgehog. You have to be talking in your pirate voice now because this be the pirate. Arrgh. She'd Arr, be a special Castro. kind of hedgehog. You need to whack into that to make it explode. Yar. Like Yar. Yeah, Amy's adorable. Uh, nope, excuse me, pardon me, coming through. You did. Alright, so we gotta bring in Amy here. Hammer time. Amy! Kawaii, boom. And, let's see. I wanna switch back to Sonic now. Amy's usefulness is up. Oh, nope, not just yet. She still has some. Uh, I have no use for you anymore. Well, no. I mean, I just want to play a Sonic. And that should do it. Sweet. 
So next changing spot. So long, Aimster. Yep. The Aimster. Everybody gets a nickname in the Sonic crew. Oh. Yeah. Wow, I did not do that properly. She's the third member of the Sonic crew. No, 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 don't, don't do that. No, no, no. That didn't no. work at all. No. Send it. And right through. There we go. There are a couple girl uh, Kong members, though. Yeah. There's a lot of them. I just, I don't think the Donkey Kong theme really works for Sonic and crew, though. Okay. Although, this level does feel very Donkey Kong-like. Yes, we're in barrels. it does. All right, I want to go over here. Surprise! Well, my goal is always to say things that are completely trolling to you. You do quite well with that. <laughs> Fire! Arr. I be doing so well right now. Probably. Yar, ye be doing awesome there. I be doing so well, Arr. I surprise myself. Yar har, ye har, <laughs> ye hardies. Me hardies? Is it me hardies or ye hardies? It's me hardies. Why me hardies? That's improper. It's like my, that's what they say, me. Me? Me. Me backpack. What me about I, brush. me hearties? Or I, hearties. I love Arby's. It's true. It's not really a lie. Then you say, I love me Arby's. I love me some Arby's? Like that? Or you could just say me Arby's. Me Arby's? You know what? I really don't know. In fact, I don't even think that there is a such thing as pirate speech. It's just don't like. Don't tell me that because there's actually a day on the internet that's speak like a pirate day. Now, it wouldn't, you know, exist if it didn't really happen. Next but there were next pirates. you're going to tell me is that there's no real ninja day. Like, there's no official ninja day when there's a day for that. Okay. I'm... There's you know no what? official I'm sorry. Gundam day yet. You're right. They all talked exactly like that, Kaywing. Even though they were all from different countries and from various places right. in the world, they all talked the same. As soon as they put the pirate head on, they all started speaking the same way. See that makes sense. Yeah, exactly. It so you were you were correct. I know actually, it was. I was, I was very I'm correct. sorry. I was wrong. <laughs> so this looks and like an Eggman level, like a whoa. So what do you uh, what do you do on Ninja Day then? You act like a ninja. So basically, you act like our cat Shadow, or yeah, more or less. <laughs> you walk around and try to sneak up on people. Although she's not very ninja-like. Like, she announces her presence. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's true. Firepower. I'm going to have to work on being an ninja myself because I'm not very ninja like either. No, you walk with, like, a loud thump. Thunderfoot! Yep. I can sneak up on you whenever I want to. <laughs> yeah, you, you do. You sneak up on me in public places too and freak me out. It's fun. It's one of my little joys. I'm just life. like, why is some stranger touching me? Get off! Ah! Oh, it's you. Hello, hello, Luke. How you doing? <laughs> All right, so we got to climb the stairs of. Oh, wait, that's it. Oh, we got some type of map piece. See, we really are pirates. Are <laughs> the only problem is if you think it's me and it's somebody else, and you see me from Awkward. the back. <laughs> I, I've never done that. <laughs> yes, I have. <laughs> It's not a problem unless the boyfriend or husband is around. Then it's like <laughs> they give you I a look like, really fast. and you're like, "Hey, honey," and they're like, "What?" what? It's like, <laughs> "Oh, I thought she was my wife. Sorry." From the back, she looked like my wife, but now that I'm seeing her from the front, woof! <laughs> Yay! Thank you. And then it run really fast. <laughs> I should have been in track because I can book it when I need to. <laughs> Yeah. My mouth gets me in so I, much trouble, but you know what? Being sly and sarcastic and witty, it's every New Yorker's <laughs> God-given right. And I express that right every single day. I think it's cute you try to sneak up on me. No, not, not that. I meant just my, my way of speaking. Yeah. Gets me into hot water sometimes. Water. Water. Uh, oh, yeah. Actually, uh, yeah, I did. I go, heard go, go, some go. things that... <gasps> did I do it? I think I did it. Yeah, you actually have a lot of stories to tell about things like that. I. I am surprised when you when you joke around with people, but 
Oh, look at that. Without the cannon. Did you see that? I did that without the cannon. Take that, Donkey Kong. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay, what's this about? Switch has multiple whisks at the same time. So we have to light this one, and we have to light the one above it, and kaboom! You did it! Yeah, but I want to see what's up here now. I it says hammer. I remember one time, a long time ago, you were in the hospital, and oh. you were on like, some medicine, and you were using your crazy wit and joking around with people, and you had, like, Four or five nurses, like, around you laughing, and, like, like you were literally the center of attention back there. I can't help it. I am ridiculously <laughs> good-looking. <laughs> it reminded me of, uh, like, what about Bob, that scene where he's like, has, like, the entire hospital, like, laughing at his jokes, but, yeah, it was funny. That's because the best way to deal with a hospital situation is to use humor to deflect things. <laughs> yeah. Same thing when confronting a bu bully. Blah. Blah. Can't talk today. But anyway, guys and gals, that does it for this episode of Sonic Fire and Ice. Don't Yay! forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And join us next time as we continue our pirate adventure. Yay! And let us know your awkward humor situation. Arr! God bless and happy gaming, swabbies. See yours! Yeah. <laughs>